Hey guys, this is Storm Productions, second in the Force of Zero Three, and I'm back in Ascension Part 16. Just a quick and fair warning before I start, I'm sick. Uh, just saying, so I apologize beforehand. Another thing is, um, I've been wanting to do this for a while, but I've never really got myself to do it. So, just first I thought it could be fun if uh, I, every Monday, in one of the videos, just really fast recommended uh, Otome Game slash visual novel that you could play, uh, because then you have stuff to play and stuff. So yeah, I will be doing that every Monday, and starting off with, I promise I won't talk very long, but starting off with uh, a short visual novel that has no choices, I think that's named the Kinetic Novel, which is named This Beautiful, This Cheap and Sacred, sacred Thing, I think. Uh, that Cheap and Sacred Thing. And it's a very beautiful game, I love it so much, and short, but it's very very pretty and beautiful, and I played it two times and I cried both times in the end. Definitely worth playing. Alright, that was it um, for this time, I will just begin now playing. Yep. No choice, she's coming with us. Anywhere else she will be in even more danger. Senna, travel! Yay. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. If I told you, I I told you, I know nothing. And even if I knew, I wouldn't tell you anything. That girl saved my life. That's too bad, Cat. We will just have the ship then. Oh, but I really need that ship. That's her. Man, kill her. Boss want her dead. Please don't do me any favors. You have no idea how much I needed to kick some uh, butts. Hold her hands! I don't think so. Oh, badass Sander incoming! Get the make! Yeah, come get the make! Get him! You're having more fun than you should, Ida. How much fun is the normal amount? Zero! Hello! Ron, that's the dwarf who swung shrunk us! Wait! Oh, come on! Send a tough, send a fight! Come here, you little rat! Oh, that's really cute. He like protect her and stuff. Wait, let the last one awake. You, are you alive? Yes. Now go back to your bus and tell him I'm coming for his cute butt once I find him. I'm gonna take my daggers. Then I'm gonna gently stab his heart and literally, literally trap his heart into small, cute, animal-shaped pieces. And then I'm gonna feed you with all those pieces, and I'm gonna laugh while doing that. Go. Ah! What? Cute butt. I mean that. Don't tell. Me. Don't tell me you think cute butt was the only disturbing. Uh, part about that speech. <laughs> You'll get used to it. I actually think <laughs> Ida's pretty cool. And we're on the ship. I want to talk to Sander. So, back to Valent, huh? Ida, you're really terrible at starting conversations. Hey, give me some credit for at least trying. Very well, congratulations for trying. My, my, Kinnigal Sander strikes. Did it hit? Could be better. Perhaps you could teach me them, privately. Sander, are you flirting with me? Maybe. Does that mean we finally go the, can go through the whole me leaving uh, all of you all for the golden beaches of uh, Sundrop Island? Now that you mention it. I'm sorry, I was joking. Sander, don't push it. And if I do, I'll push back. Cuteness. Hey. Hey. Hey, dude. I don't really want to talk to any of these, though. Maybe Tilly? No. Back. What's this? A little something from for saving my ship. I thought you would like it. Nina. 
Whoa, that's badass. Let's wear that. I didn't like and earrings. We are fabulous now. What should I do now? I have nothing to do. Do I really have to talk to all of them? Ah! Oh well. Let's take Tilly. Ida, Ida, come here! Yeah? Sky and I were just talking about <laughs> boys. You know what I mean, right? And we're doing kind of a <laughs> small beauty contest because I. Because look at them. <laughs> Secret though. Don't tell them anything. <laughs> anyway, my vote is on Phelan. He's mature. <laughs> Calm look is really nice. You know what I mean? And Sky <laughs> is all for Jace because I think Sky really likes muscles and them flirty types. And she's all nice <laughs> lady type, you know? I never said that. Tell so, are you drunk again? Oh, this is nothing. Just pretty max. But tell me, which one is cuter? Of course, Sander is cuter, cuter. I think I will go with Sander. He has this dark, mysterious charm. And he has those, magi those magical kisses, which is way cooler than it sounds. <laughs> I thought you would choose him. <laughs> choose who? First step, run! Tilly! <laughs> Prince! Knight. Prince! Knight, Captain. Jace, Prince. I told you, I'm a knight, not a prince. Those guys are basically useless. Knight. Yep. Jace, Knight, Prince. Not exa- Yeah, okay, that works, I guess. You're doing all of this wrong, love. Don't call him Prince or anything. Act like you don't care about them, you know? Leave them waiting. We're wanting. Not care? Yeah, just wink and smile and say something like, hey, and then leave, and don't wait for answer. Don't look back and don't go over to them. Uh, just leave them like that, you know? Confuse them, boys. Confuse Prince. Don't listen to her sinner. Ida is the last person to look for romantic advices. Just be yourself. The way you are is perfect. There is no... If they don't like the way you are, then they're not worth it. You don't need tactics or anything. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. I think you should also always be honest about your feelings. Tell them how you feel about them as soon as you get the chance. Later, it might just be too late. Too late. And be confident. Confidence is the best piece of clothing you can ever wear. Confidence. Just a fun cutie. Fun. Then a fun. <laughs> did we just go through the whole romantic advice thing? <laughs> Apparently we did. Ida, I have to talk to you. I'm not gonna like this, am I? Probably not. Listen, I buried a month after he vanished. A man wrecked. He came to me and gave me a wooden box. He said it was from a friend. Inside the box there was my mother's journals. At first, I thought Adrian stole them for me, but there was a letter from Diego inside the box. What? Why didn't you mention this before? I had, he said my mother was an Eagles member. Yeah, he told me the same thing before I went all shining bright, but why? Why did he contact you? Did he send you another message? No, he didn't send anything, but in his letter he said he would be happy to have me in the Eagles. Look at my dead damn buddy! Don't worry, I have no intention of joining a man that killed both my parents. I actually thought about it. At first I thought I could use this opportunity to get my revenge. But I'm not an idiot. He's strong, smart, and probably had a motive in sending me a message. Ignoring it was the right thing to do. I'm glad you think so. I only stayed, be stayed uh, because I thought that's what he wanted me to do. It's been bothering me for a while that my mother was a criminal. Well, you always knew she was a thief. Yes, but the eagles. She was actually running away from them to protect you and her family. Yeah, I knew there was something wrong about her death. When we found Diego, I want to face. I want my face to be the last thing he sees before he dies, Ida. I mean it. I'll do my best. In case. In case, I'll just make sure he faces you while I beat the crap out of him. Good enough. Yeah, sounds fine. Can I go to sleep now? Do I have to talk to every single person? 
Apparently. Are you alright? You look a little green. I hate ships. Are you seasick? Yeah. Ugh. I'll leave you alone now. Ugh, thanks. Hey! Decided not to kill Sanders' father after all? I'm waiting. There are more urgent matters in hand. My time will come. Good! What would I do if I didn't get my daily dose of rainbows and sunshine? There we go. What? Silent treatment? I'm not afraid of you, you know. Boo. By the old kings! If boo doesn't mean go away in Sun Elf, then you just made a joke! That was a joke. Excuse me while I pick up my jaw off the floor. Okay, now we've talked to everyone. Sleep. Okay, thank you. Ugh, again. Let's go back to the how was the how was your day? So how was your day today? Been having a nice day. Uh, hopefully you're not sick. By the way, tomorrow I have to go to school. Yay! Definitely not something I'm looking forward to. Then again, who is? Um, what did you have for breakfast today? Interesting. Um. I'm really awkward at conversation, aren't I? Bleh. Oh, we're almost there. Almost there. Almost there. Please. Just, well, let's get there. Come on. Finally. <gasps> Whoa, that was a gasp. Did you just call me? Oh, did I call someone in name in my dream? Yeah, probably Sander. Ida, are you alright? Are you hurt? Did something happen? No, I, uh, bad dream. Had a bad dream. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to wake you up. It was, never mind, I'm sorry. No, it's okay, I was worried. Are you alright? Do you need anything? No, I'm okay, I just need to wake up, that's all. You know, I could stay here and read. The, uh, cabin is quieter, quieter if you could do me a favor. Stay, if you can. Please. I'm here if you need me. Just trying to read my book. Thank you. Thank you, Sander, for everything. Ida. You don't have to thank me for anything. I'm here for you. I'll always be here for you. You. Don't understand, do you? I love. Oh, for fuck's sake! <laughs> Senna can't sleep. Senna. Senna, you should not be entering someone's room. Senna, Mark, she barely escaped a long life traumatic experience, and no, I dare. Oh, Sander, how cute are you? So, Senna, you just shake the bottle a little and... Do you not teach alchemy to anyone? You're just bitter sky choose alchemy over your theory. Only because... You, uh, you have those dresses and stuff. Sure, the dresses. Hey. Hey! It's a good morning. Uh, yes, with the su sun and the sea. <laughs> Awkwardness. Yeah, I should go see if Sina needs something. Oh, hey, right, see you later around here. By the old king, see you later around here. What's wrong with me? That might have been the greatest moment of my life. Go away, Sky. Okay, see you later around here. Damn it, Sky, not funny. Okay, I have to end the episode here. See you in the next one. Bye.